Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how do you customize HTML report in a TestNG project? Let me answer. If I get this question personally in the interviews, my answer will be something like this, okay? So in this case, HTML report means I generally use extend reports, okay? It is also an HTML report. In my real time, I have used the extend report, okay? So because extend report is kind of advanced when compared to the test engine report. So in my past projects and all, I have used extend reports only, okay? So nowhere I have used the general or default test engine report, but I have used extend report. So let's be genuine, okay? Let's explain whatever we have done in our previous projects. So my answer will be something like this. So how did I customize that extent HTML report in my test ng framework or project? With the help of I test listener interface from test ng. Okay. So what I will do generally do is I create a class, a user defined class, okay, for listener's purpose. And I'll make that particular class implement this predefined interface from test ng library. This is a predefined interface from test engine library, I test listener. Okay. I generally use I test listener. Okay. So I'll practically show you how that is all possible. Okay. So here, if you see, we open this, uh, okay, Eclipse ID. Here we have a sample test ng project or framework, whatever you say. In this framework or project, you see, I've implemented some listeners. Okay. I created some user defined listeners. You can see our listeners, my listeners, any name. Okay. Okay. So any name you can give to this user defined class. And I'll make this class implement this particular predefined interface from test ng library known as I test listener. You can see that I test listener is a predefined interface from test ng. If I hover the mouse, you can see it is from test ng library. When you implement this I test listener interface, okay, what happens is this listener interface has some predefined uh, methods, okay, that can be overridden by this class, which is implementing this interface. Okay. So what are those methods and how to, you know, override them for that? You simply in Eclipse ID, go to the source and, uh, you know, select override implement methods. Then it will give you the option. I test listener. And uh, these are few methods, which are, which I have not implemented. Apart from this two, I implemented a lot of already using, you can see all these methods, right? These are all coming from I test listener interface. Okay. So apart from this, uh, there are two more uh, which we can implement if we required. I, I didn't require that, so I kept it there itself, okay? The unimplemented or un unoverrided uh, remaining uh, predefined methods from IITS listener are being shown here. Whatever the things that I already added to this class are not coming there, okay? If if I remove all these things, you can get there, okay? For example, if I cut this for a while, for a while if I cut this part and uh, go to the source and say override implement, you see all the predefined methods are now coming. Okay. Now if again, uh, let me add them. Okay. So like this, I implemented, you see, when a particular, uh, you know, execution starts, then what we have to do, it should create a report. Okay. When you run the test in this particular project, a report should be created, which report extend report. Okay. So like that I have done in my real time. Okay. So because this is directly, you know, I'm getting this to check my real time thing in my real time, whatever the work I have done in my real time project. So I'll be sticking to this kind of answer. Okay. So like this, using the predefined methods from the ITS listener, I have implemented some on start uh, where we have generated or created the report. Okay. So this one, I extend report dot somewhere in the framework I created. There's no need to worry much. It is returning some object of the extend report. Okay. Extend reports. And then uh, when a particular test starts, okay. So after the report got generated, when a particular test, there will be a lot of test methods here, okay? A lot of tests which will be running as part of this project for each and every test, okay? So we are creating the test in this particular extent report and uh, we are adding some logs to the report, okay? So info logs, some info logs saying that execution started, this particular test execution started like that. For, for example, if that particular test passes, okay? If the test engine test passes, then this result will get some information that the test got passed and uh, with the help of that result dot get name got successfully executed and uh, stated dot pass I'll say I'm adding a log simply. Okay. And uh, on test failure, this is very important guys. Okay. This is how I am actually customizing this uh, extent report in my case. 
So when a particular test, when a particular test passes, I don't want to do anything apart from this uh, logging thing, like saying that the test got passed. But when a particular test fails, then there is a lot of work. We have to take a screenshot. Okay. For that, this is the code I have written. Okay. For that, this is the code I have written to take the screenshot and add that screenshot to the extent report along with the logs. You see, whatever the screenshot is there, that I'm adding to the extent report. In the extent report itself, you'll get the screenshot. This is how we can customize. By default, in extent report, we'll not get any screenshots of the field test and all. By creating this kind of class and implementing this ITS listener, by writing this code inside these methods and all listener methods, that is going to happen. When particular test skips, then what we have to do? Uh, when a part, uh, when the complete execution of the test or whatever the execution you have done in this project got it completed, then you know we have to flush all these things into the report and uh, you know uh, automatically open the report up to you. Okay, so like this, uh, we can create this kind of test ng uh, listener methods from ITS listener interface, and they will be automatically invoked. Okay, when you run the test, okay, based on the events fired from the test ng test like. Test uh, started, test uh, you know finished execution or uh, test uh, passed, uh, test failed, test skipped. Whatever the events that are getting fired, based on that appropriate methods will be triggered and in this listeners class, okay. And uh, accordingly, the things will happen and the report will get customized, okay. And uh, we'll give the path of this uh, listeners, okay, where these listener methods are implemented in the uh, testng.xml file. Here somewhere we have this uh, testng.xml file. You can see. So the path to this my listeners will be provided here in this uh, testng.xml file. Okay, like this. Okay, with the package name dot my listeners. Then uh, when you run this testng.xml file, automatically when the events are fired by the test methods, this uh, testng listener methods will be invoked and automatically the appropriate code will be run and uh, the report will get customized. So this will be my answer, guys. Okay, if I get this question in the interviews, this is going to be my answer. So. Okay, guys, you got the answer for this question. And uh, if in case you need this uh, project, okay, framework or project, uh, what I have covered in this session, then you can simply go to my GitHub, guys. Okay, so just search in Google GitHub space Arun Motori. Okay, and you'll be taken to this uh, link, Arun Motori GitHub uh, link. And uh, where once you go there, you see, you will uh, see a lot of stuff and just uh, here, there is some link actually, Tutorials Ninja Hybrid Framework. And uh, yeah, this is the one, okay? So this is the one you can take, okay? So Tutorials Ninja Hybrid Framework repo, okay? So this has that all the stuff, okay? So extent reports and all the stuff, SRC. Uh, let's see whether everything is there or not mean. Listeners are there, everything is there in this. You see, this is a... This is the thing you can find in my GitHub profile, okay? So fine. So if you want to have this link, uh, I'll provide this in the mind map so that you can find it easily. Framework. You can find the framework at this link, okay? You can go to this particular GitHub link and find the framework if you, you want that, okay? So, Hope guys, you got the answer for this question with practical demonstration. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.